Do you think you'd do it again? If you had a chance to do it all over again? I don't know, Luke. That's not really a fair question. It's hard to know. You would. I know you would. But me, I I don't know. I don't know sometimes. It's what made you the man that you are, Luke. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm really proud of that. Just remember, it it started that night with David's veggie-powered motor and the wind at our back. You know what? That night, I seemed free. Everything that would come later was a nightmare that I had yet to live. That one night, I felt like I got to do something that I wanted to do. I was in control for a few minutes at the very least. Hail! Chad MacArthur of the Penobscot Dwellers. David Brenner of the Refuge. Why are you here? The fact that we travel with a riderless horse should speak for me. My own son is missing. We know nothing of it. You harbor a fugitive. Maybe. He just showed up this afternoon. So you will give him up? What for? We seek restitution on our terms. You're gonna kill him. He drew the first blood. Look, I like him as little as you do, but killing him? This is our justice. Will you deny it? Did you listen to the man? If he's right... Ten years ago, we reached these terms. We have obeyed the borders all these years, even when we could overpower you ten times over. Even when you had food and our people struggled to survive. And now, when you shelter a stranger who breaches this truce, you'll deny us justice? It's not that easy. I need to speak to our people. This is a matter for chiefs to decide, not the tribe. Hey! That's him! He rides! Get him! You stalled us! Whoa! Hey, the truce! The truce is over! Wait! We can talk! Hey, stop firing! I'm sorry, you said... Then war it will be. Remember who fired first. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to... Tell your people to prepare for a council of war. There will be no quarter! Chris, what the hell did you do? You told me to. I said train, not... You realize what you've done? They were willing to talk. David, your kids are with him. What? A stranger. Prophet. Where are we going? Keep our aim towards the water and gun it. We can only go so far. Look out, there's some of our horses. It's them. Just keep moving. Ah, ah, look, he's shooting at us. Keep low. It's a pistol. There's no way. No, no. Stay low. Okay, hold. Steady. I got a beat on him. There. Now keep moving. All right, Jonas, what happened? They say my kids... I I only turned for a second. We'll get Jezebel then. Sam tried. It wouldn't start. Damn it. I had her running the other day. It's all right. Sam's way ahead of you. What? She grabbed the stray horse. Now she's after them. Come on, Chris. We'll back her up. We don't need you running off, David. We need you here. Carl. You need to stop thinking about your family and think about all of our families. I need my children. We need our chief. He's right, David. You and your goddamn chief. My wife and daughter are out there. Your son, David. Your adopted son. I said that. My son. All of them. They're all out there. We need a council of the elders. This is a crisis. I'll gather everyone and toll the bell. We don't need a council. We need... Damn it! That man's crazy. Crazy. I'll vote with you, David. You know that. This is not about votes. This is about Jonas. It's okay, David. I'll watch the gates. Recognize Chief Brenner. Aye, there's one. Aye, there's two. Very good. Chief, take your seat. I, yeah, sure. <coughs> you may all sit. The matter the elders would like to speak about should go without saying. Do we have any who disagree? <laughs> Nay, I didn't think so. Do we have any who wish to be the first to speak? Yeah, let's start with the armed horsemen. Not you, Brenner. Excuse me, but I think it's a little more important that I have... council speaks before the chief. You made that rule. This is an emergency. All the more important than to follow our rules. Yes. 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 Absolutely. I'm sorry, but this is what separates us from them. That's right. And we must resolve on a course of action. Yes, like getting our asses out of here and looking for my children. Whoa. Come on. 
Look, Prophet has excuses a mile long of why he came here. Some nonsense about this new republic that's taken over New York. I didn't catch half of the horse turd he piled on. But the point is this, he found us. Worse, he led the dwellers to us, and they're ready to fight. Wait, what? So, to prepare for war, are we? Yes, I guess we should. But more important, we need to track down Prophet before he gets any farther away. A farmer doesn't leave his flock when there's a wolf at the door. That's right, absolutely. Yes, a farmer goes out and shoots the wolf. What do you mean by that, Chief? I mean you need to grow some balls and come help me. Oh. We don't have time to bicker. Oh, this is unbelievable. Chief, you're out of line. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. I'm out of the line of windbags who hide behind oh, words when action is needed. Any who wish to join the search, follow me now. Chris, come on and help me. I'm going after them. You're not going anywhere. Why? What's going on? Look. Look where? You mean... Oh. The walkers caught up with the riders, I guess. They brought quite a crew. And my kids? Sam's after them, David. You can't ask for any more than that. Damn Prophet. Damn him to hell. Whatever else you say about him, he's a hell of a soldier. He won't let anything happen to them. Yeah, not unless it serves his ends. We'll need to post watch. I'll do it. You... You go talk to the council. And that's the start of it. For all the years our parents warned us about the outside world, the decision to leave the refuge took about a minute. That was the first time I'd ever been drunk. Not on hard cider or ale, but on the dream of adventure. You intoxicated me, Maria. And John Prophet intoxicated me. The dream of adventure. But we'd experience what our parents warned us about soon enough, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we sure would. Here's to the new republic. To the republic. <laughs> wow. It's nearly a year, dear Saul, since we sent that rat on the run. What a time for freedom. And then no small thanks to you, my dear Saul. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Prophet fleeing like a rat, his loyalists split in disarray, the council eating out of our hand. You have over-delivered, my dear sir. It's all for the Republic. Yes. For the Republic. Mm. Mm. You don't drink so. I don't care for this stuff. This is Rouve Clicquot from the 20th century. It's an insult not to drink. Pardon my rudeness. Tomorrow. Promise me you will tomorrow when we at last commission the Citadel. Very well. Hmm. Ah, the world has forgotten its manners, so... But I will teach you all its finer things. You are a loyal servant, but without a sense of style, you'll never be a leader of men. Now, that's not an insult. It's just a reality. You need a sense of the grandeur of society. The essential beauty in America that we're trying to save. I'll try, sir. Yeah. You'll understand once I show you the Citadel. The entire city run on that reactor. Television, trains... You're not worried about... It's... Uh, we'll find it in time, please. Don't dampen our night. Another drink. And please, Saul. Yes. Yes, sir. For you. <laughs> A toast. May the Republic live on. May the Republic live on.